وَكُلًّا نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الرُّسُلِ مَا نُثَبِّتُ بِهِ فُؤَادَكَ وَجَاءَكَ فِي هَذِهِ الْحَقُّ وَمَوْعِظَةٌ وَذِكْرَى لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ Allah Most High says and all that we relay unto you from the stories of the messengers is in order that we may make your heart firm during the month of Ramadan whilst we are reciting the Quran we come across many of the stories of the prophets in fact a third of the Quran is spent discussing previous nations and their stories and the bulk of which is the stories of the prophets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen to reveal to us the stories of the past nations for a very important purpose and that is that our hearts which require purification which require guidance which can be influenced from time to time require that purification and one of the greatest instruments the purifying instruments is the stories of the prophets and previous nations they are an example for us if we find ourselves despondent if we find ourselves lacking direction if we find ourselves lost at sea the stories of the prophets serve as lighthouses to give us safe passage and to guide us away from the rocky shores of life no matter how we feel we will always find inspiration in the lives of the prophets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to make firm your heart to return your heart back to where it ought to be to calibrate it back to the desire of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it gives us that hope in life we embrace life with all its challenges no matter what you face in life there are many prophets in previous nations who faced overwhelming challenges and obstacles in their lives and this did not veer them away from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but it increased them in meditation and gratitude and graciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and bounty subhanallah when we look into the life of Ibrahim alayhi salam the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon him we find that he was in a society that was full of contradictions so many challenges not just in the greater community but also within his own household and even though he was challenged by his own family he was challenged by his society he was challenged by the establishment at that time sayyiduna ibrahim alayhi salam was firm and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reassured him and gave him contentment and certitude in his life where he was able to triumph all the challenges that were around him he was able to triumph above and beyond the challenges that he faced in his time and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continuously revealed the stories of Ibrahim to our beloved messenger the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sahbihi wa sallama so that when he received that same treatment by his people the Quraysh and the Arabian Peninsula that he sallallahu alaihi wa sahbihi wa sallama found the example the greatest example in the life of Ibrahim and this made his heart firm as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says لِنُثَبِّتَ بِهِ فُؤَادَكَ